Hey guys, welcome to my first Would You Rather video. It's not something that I usually do or is a series I'm necessarily gonna be doing on the channel, but I'm just, I'm doing a sponsored video today. I am doing the unboxing for the Legend of Aang or Last Airbender, depending on what region you're in, uh, Steelbook Edition Blu-ray. But instead of just doing it as an unboxing video purely, I wanted to answer some of the questions that you guys presented to me on my YouTube community page. Um, so let's just start on it because I don't even know if this is the right package. I assume it is because it's from Vision Media. Um, the first question you guys had for a would you rather, which I don't have right now, my bad. No, that ruins everything. Sorry for that, it took me a while to figure out. The iPad doesn't have community on the YouTube app for some reason, but the if you go on Safari, whatever. But yes, so the first question I got was, or the first one that I'm gonna answer is, uh, as an earthbender, oh, by the way, this is from Finn. As an earthbender, would you rather be a metal bender or a lava bender? So this question comes in two places, right? It's really the decision between if I want precision or if I want power. Um, and for me personally, I always tend to side with precision over power. Yes, I, I do acknowledge that lava bending probably will always win out, uh, you know, particularly if you have like a, a master law bender against a master metal bender, then the law bender is going to win all day because, I mean, easy, he can just destroy the the metal sheets and burn them and make them into lava. Um, and anytime a earth bender is fighting a lava bender, they're giving them more ammunition. But I think that's kind of boring. Uh, I'm not a big fan of like uber power or anything like that. I'm more into like, uh, you know, shows of precision and skill. Here's the first box. Again, I don't even know if this is the right package, to be honest. If it's the wrong package and, and, and I just messed up right now, then whoops. I just picked it up and I assume this is the right package. Would you, uh, from Abby Crockett, uh, would you rather have a fight with a space sword or a boomerang? And now here's the thing, I've never been, oh my God, this is actually really cool. So in this box, let me actually do the unboxing part. If you see how they package it, they actually give you an arrow. You get a uh, airbender arrow right on the front of the, of the box. I'm not sure if this is what everyone's getting or if that's just how they send it to me, but that's actually kind of nice. I thought that was a good touch. Prior to the last airbender, I never really cared about boomerangs all that much. The only way I ever thought about boomerang is I think it's called, it was one of the old TV channels before like I got, a, got rid of my cable. I think that was like one of the, one of the TV channels that uh, showed like old cartoons and stuff like that. Wow, this is like actually kind of nice. I might have to use like some B-roll footage of this. So when you open up the package, you get basically a bunch of confetti and oh my God, these little trinkets and stuff. And then this uh, page here, let's actually read this page before I take the next, uh, the next uh, question. The last airbender avatar, water, earth, fire, air. In your hands, your destiny awaits. Will you choose the pursuit of power with Zuko and the Fire Nation or seek peace and harmony, harmony, harmony alongside Avatar Aang? May the enclosed trip tick i've never seen that word um, that word before trip tick tyke trip tyke scroll bring you a sense of purpose and fulfillment as you immerse yourself in the world of avatar the last airbender in this exclusive 15th anniversary three still book collection so you get this paper that explains to you what you're getting would i rather marry azula post ozai defeat or the bloodbender hama when she was young can i say neither can I say neither? Maybe, well, okay, maybe a, a Zula after the Ozai defeat, but she's still kind of crazy, even in the comics and stuff like that. But still, it's a Zula. I feel like she'll like, you know, wreck me or whatever. Um, but I'll go with Azula. Between those two offerings, I'm definitely gonna have to go with it with Azula. Uh, okay, so back to the unboxing here. So this is actually kind of cool. They give me like a little Aang here, and then I have a Zuko right next to it, right here, right in the flames. This is kind of cute. I'll admit that's a that's a well played little contract they did right there. And then of course we have the box set itself. Ah, oh, this packaging is really nice to have the fire. This is actually wow, this is heavy. It it there's got some weight to it. It feels like an actual collector's edition. I, I want to ask a question to you guys too. When you guys get collection editions of things like this, do you typically just you know put it on your shelf? never use it, I guess resell it later if you're like a collector? Or do you actually like use the thing? Do you actually unbox it and you know, watch the DVD? Because I've never actually seen the Avatar The Last Airbender on Blu-ray. I've only ever watched it on like my cheap SD or I think iTunes, cause I actually have it on iTunes and I think iTunes does offer it in HD, but it's like, um, it's an upscaled HD. I don't think it, I don't think it was before they came out with the official HD version that they have now. So um, I, I'm the kind of person who's like, I would love to actually 
play it and watch the thing that I have and not just keep it on my shelf where it's gonna get like dusty or whatever. Would you rather be a part of Korra's team avatar or Aang's team avatar? So if I'm with uh, Aang's uh, team avatar, that's gonna be like Toph, Katara, Sokka, Aang, Zuko. I mean, that's pretty easy. I personally don't really care for Korra's team avatar. Um, I like uh, Legend of Korra, but I do not really care for Mako all that much. Bowen's kind of funny, but I prefer Sokka over Bowen, I think. Uh, Asami's all right. I think she's a little bit basic, to be honest. But then again, maybe I like, I think probably I would relate more to Asami than I would with either Katara or, or Toph. So in terms of like female energy, I probably would prefer Asami. Um, but in, in the overall scope, I'm definitely gonna say I'm gonna go with um, Avatar, The Last Airbender, uh, Team Avatar, uh, not Korra's team. It says also it includes an exclusive excerpt from the New York Times bestseller, The Rise of Kiyoshi. I'm assuming that means that the, the, the book is in there because the audiobook doesn't come out for a little while. So I'm pretty sure they mean just the, um, the, the written word, the prose. Would you rather have the wisdom of Iroh or the strength of Ozai? I would rather have the wisdom of Iroh, but I think it's a little bit of a misnomer. People often, when they compare two different halves, they, they try to make one seem like the other isn't that, and then the other one is that. So like when someone says like, do you want to be Iroh the wise or Ozai the powerful? You're, you're kind of negating the power of Iroh and you're negating the wisdom of, of Ozai. Now granted, I won't say Ozai is, is, is wise or anything like that, but I don't think he's dumb either. Like, like for him to build up what he did with the Fire Nation and do what he did to, you know, sweep across with the colonies um, in, in the Earth Kingdom, uh, not enough credit is given to that, you know, overreaching strategy that he played into. But yeah, again, I don't really like when people do that uh, with characters because then you kind of forget the nuances um, or you're taking away from the other character. There's audio commentary on this, the making of Avatar featurettes, uncut animatic from Bato the Water Tribe, uncut animatic from the Avatar stage, so a bunch of like behind the scenes stuff. Uh, and then you have, you know, Aang in the front, and then you have the book three, book two, book one in these little slots, which are really nice. Yeah, this is actually really nice. This is really, really, really well made. Would you rather have a book four and five of uh, Avatar The Last Airbender, animated of course with the entire original cast coming back, and I'm assuming he means like following what the comic books are um, and seeing how that progresses. Or would you rather have a brand new Avatar Kiyoshi animated series? Now, if this had been last year, my answer would have been, oh, I would love to see the current comic books like The Promise and The Rift and uh, the North and South, I think it's, it's called North and South, can't remember, uh, Smoke and Shadow, to see that as all animated and having that as like, you know, a continuation of the series and seeing Aang go all the way up until like, you know, he builds Republic City and all that stuff. Um, however, that was before I read Rise of the Kyoshi. So last year when I read Rise of the Kyoshi, my biggest gripe about it is that it's not gonna be their next project. They're gonna be doing this live action uh, Last Airbender stuff. And I would much prefer it if they would have done, um, you know, something with the like, Kyoshi and, and, and this book. Like I would love to see it adapted into, you know, uh, an animated short. So definitely I'm gonna go with Avatar Kyoshi. Would love to see her as an animated show. Would you rather redirect lightning or fire lightning? Uh, definitely if I only had one choice or the other, definitely redirect lightning uh, because when you can redirect it, you actually can shoot it back out. But also you have the ability to choose whether, you know, homeboy needs to die on the other end, or hey, I'm gonna save you and push it off to the other side and do an ang or something like that. This one I like a lot, this next question. Would you rather master all four elements or only master energy bending? Oh, that was different than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be, would you rather master all four elements or be like the master in one element? Uh, probably the four elements, I don't really care much. I mean, if we're talking about being practical, if I'm living in the world of Avatar, I'm not gonna be dealing with spirits all that often depending on which era I'm in. If I'm in like the one time period, then yeah, spirit building, um, energy bending, spirit bending, that's all really important. Um, if I'm in the core era, like post, you know, book four, then that's really important. But more often than not, I'm gonna want the four elements. Uh, but if your question was, if I wanted to know four elements or one element really well, my answer would have been one element really well. Famously, Bruce Lee says that he um, is afraid of the guy who practiced one kick a thousand times versus another guy who practiced, you know, a thousand kicks one time. Definitely, I'm all about that. All right, let's find one more question. I don't wanna make this video too long and, and you know, just waste you guys' time. All right, so this next one, pretty good because it relates to what I do outside of my YouTube channel, which is writing. Uh, this person asks, would you rather write and direct your own Star Wars movie 
or write a book in the Avatar universe? Um, okay, so this one's hard because while I would prefer writing a book in the Avatar universe, uh, it would freaking scare me because I feel like I would screw it up. I, less so with the Star Wars movie. I feel like with the Star Wars movie, I can actually do that a little bit easier and not screw it up, but it's not as challenging and it's not as engaging to me or I, the result at the end, I wouldn't care as much for as if I you know, toiled with a book and made that book really good um, at the end of it. So if I'm taking the easy route and I'm talking about, oh, what, what do I think I actually can do and do pretty relatively well, I would say doing the Star Wars movie. But the thing that I would desire doing the most and I would get the most fulfillment out of would be writing a book in the Avatar universe. So between those two, which would I pick? Ooh, it really is a, is a, is a case of ease or difficulty. I would say probably like right now, uh, well, okay. If I'm being completely honest and very logical, like if I got emails, like literally right now, like I got an email from Disney, I got an email from Nickelodeon and one, I had those two choices. I probably would take the movie because again, it's a little bit easier. The way in which I can interact with Star Wars uh, and my knowledge of Star Wars is a little bit easier versus Avatar, especially a novel where you have to be very detail oriented. Uh, there's not a lot of room for error error there. So yeah, I think that's one I would choose. But uh, yeah, that's it guys. Uh, that's gonna be the end of this unboxing slash Q&A of Would You Rather. If you think I should do more of these Would You Rathers, I am totally down to do more of them, uh, but I never really considered, you know, doing a lot of them so i don't know but it, it, if you like the format and you want to see me do it more and i can do it more officially with more production value and not kind of like you know like this let me know the avatar is out today in uh steelbook edition 15th anniversary edition the complete series but that is it guys as always i'll see you on the next one peace love and remember be water my friends hey 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 that's not for you that's not for eating that's not for eating that's not for eating no, Usha, I told you no. This guy over here trying to eat, trying to eat the stuff. Why are you trying to eat the stuff?